If you're a photographer, there might be some times when you want to have some really good photos of yourself. But what do you do when there's no one around to take those photos? Or when you want that special someone to be in a photo with you? Well, it's simple. You just find ways to take photos of yourself. And I'm not talking about selfies. This is Nicole Glass. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to share a few different ways that I have taken photos of myself with a digital SLR. Now, before you go out and take photos of yourself, you might want to consider getting a tripod if you don't have one already. But I mean, you can make this work with whatever you have. I have definitely used a gorilla pod, a switch pod, and even a stack of books to make this work. Although it definitely is easier with a tripod. All right, so this first method is for those of you who have some of the newer digital cameras that have the capability to connect to a smartphone. In my case, I am using a Canon. In order to connect my phone to my Canon camera, I need to download the Canon Connect app and follow the instructions to create the connection. If you are not a Canon user, just do a little bit of research and figure out which app you need to download to be able to connect your camera to your phone. Now that you have connected your camera to your smartphone, set up your camera on a tripod and step into the frame. You should be able to see what the camera sees through your phone. Now take a picture. You'll see that the phone is obviously in your picture. Two things you can do here. You can either one, hide the phone or two, use the self timer. I usually turn on the two second timer option so that I have two seconds to slide the phone out of the frame, drop it or cover it up somehow. This is my favorite way to take photos of myself because I can literally see myself on my phone and get the angles that I want to get before taking a photo. Because I mean, we all have a good side, right? Number two, another way you can take photos of yourself is simply by using a remote control, like this one right here. I have a few of these which ranged in price from 10 to $20. They're really not that expensive. Again, make sure you have your camera ready on your tripod. In my case, I always switch over to the self timer two second remote option. Stand in the frame with your remote and use the remote control to take the photo. Super simple. Remote controls are also great when you're taking long exposures on bulb mode. In this case, you might not wanna to touch the camera because you wanna avoid as much camera shake as possible while exposing that photo. So there's a lot of reasons why you might wanna use one of these little devices. Number three, the old fashioned way of taking photos of yourself if you have an old school camera and no remote control is what I call the running back and forth method, which basically means just using the self timer. Again, position your camera, set your focus, and set the timer. In this case, I usually use the 10 second timer option because I need to account for the time that it takes to run into the shot and position myself. This is kind of an inconvenient way to take photos of yourself because you can't really preview the shot. You can't see what you're about to take and you're kind of just hoping that you're in the right spot and that the focus is accurate. Sometimes if I'm using this method, I will shoot with a smaller aperture and a wider angle just to make sure that I don't have any focus issues. You can also use the so-called running back and forth method if you are taking photos of yourself with the phone because phones often have a self timer feature on them. Number four, fly your drone. Another way you can take photos of yourself is by simply flying your drone above you and taking photos of yourself. It's pretty self-explanatory, but since this video wasn't about drones, let's carry on. As we all engage in social distancing and many of us find ourselves alone or maybe with one or two other people, there might be times when we wanna take photos of ourselves. Maybe this is for stock photography purposes or maybe this is simply just for personal memories to document everything that we are going through in these historic times. So have you taken any photos of yourself recently? And if so, which method did you use? Let me know in the comments. As always, stay safe, stay creative, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.